Let's look at copying, pasting, duplicating and the power duplicate functionality. Here I've got my artwork that I'm working on and first of all I'd like to copy my cloud to make a few more. Using the move tool I'll select it and then go to edit and choose copy. Now I'll go back to edit and choose paste. Now I have a copy of my cloud. I could also use a keyboard shortcut to work faster. So I could use Command and C on Mac or Control and C on Windows to copy and then Command and V or Control and V to paste. A more efficient way to make copies is to use the duplicate function. To do this I can select an object or in this case a group like this bench and then go to Edit and click Duplicate. The keyboard shortcut for this would be Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows. Duplicate combines the two steps of copying and pasting into one step. This is useful if you want to copy a layer near the original layer as it will be placed directly above. If you need to specify where you want an object to be placed in the layer stack then copy and paste is a better method. Another way to duplicate quickly is to use a keyboard modifier on the canvas. With the object selected I can hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows and click drag to simply lift a copy off the top. So far we've been duplicating and copying, so now let's have a look at power duplication. If you duplicate an object, then transform it and duplicate it again, not only is the object information subsequently duplicated, but also the transform information. I'll show you on this building. I'll select a brick with the move tool and hold command and click drag to create a copy of the brick. I'm holding shift to lock the Y axis to make sure they stay parallel and I'll release the mouse button to place the duplicated object. Next I'll hold command again and click drag another one underneath. Again I'm holding shift to keep them in line. Now any further duplications will replicate the pink brick and the transform information. So I can keep command held down and tap J to make as many duplications as I need for this building. As long as I don't deselect or click away, I can scroll down and keep going. Power Duplicate can duplicate simple objects like this shape we've just done, but it can also quickly duplicate large groups of layers. I'll show you in this next example. Let's select this window group and duplicate. Now I'll hold Command and click drag to duplicate again. And Command and J will power duplicate. You can also use Power Duplicate to copy multiple objects or groups like this. Power Duplicate remembers more than just positions. It will also copy rotation and resize information. I'll quickly show you on this tree. First I'll duplicate it. Then I'll increase the size. Now I can hold Command and tap J until I have enough trees in the row. As you can see the tree has become larger with each duplication. You can copy or duplicate almost anything from single objects to large groups, layers and more. Lots of the content in this cityscape was achieved using copy, paste and duplicate. Thanks for watching.